Okay. But now um, I do not have I don't have that clips do I? No, uh, that one. One to descend into bottomless abscess. Ah, that's pretty cool. Crown of Nold Iron. An engagement ring forged in iron and blackened from the many times it was cast into the flames. The teeth of the three jaws locally form its miniature crown like shape. The combination of spite and desire lends its power, increasing the fervor generated by the pendant one attacks. Uh, at times when I pray within the sacred walls of peace, I sense the presence of the Lady of the Bandaged Surge. At times I hear her breathing behind at times I hear her breathing behind golden helmet behind her golden helmet that blinkers her eyes as she waits in silence cloaked in darkness at times i hear her murmuring what sound like what sound like never any prayers and yet i have never seen her enter nor leave this place what or who can she be waiting for um uh, i still don't get at the complete map in this area uh, now I have something that I can use to heal myself. Uh, this. Uh, Good. I want to complete the map. Uh, now that I think about it, what the map? Be completed already on the hang on did it okay I am equipped the right one okay what's more oh but it's been a lot of fervor uselessly It's closed, but there are no walls or stuff. Have I tried? Ah, yes, I had to hold it here. Okay. Uh, heart of a named Mistral. Sword core forged amidst ballads of forbidding verses. Can be inserted into the Mea Culpa. Reduce the duration of parry, but uses the execution of uh, righteous repose. What's a righteous repose? Is that counter? Sing for me, cantor, and may your song relieve my pain. pain. And those were the words written on the tombstone. They, there lay the one who prayed by singing, creator of verses that one faithful day reach the wrong heart, hearts, and even if we no longer hear his voice, and no one call his calls his name, his singing will remain with us for forever. Uh, let me check here. Uh, gameplay tips. Very counter attack retribution. Uh, uh, counter attacks not retribution. And during a counter. 
Okay, parry is not necessarily deflecting. Parrying is just the action of being ready to deflect. Counter is the deflection, the what I would call parry. And then retribution is the counterattack. Uh, okay, I thought maybe this was the something repose. All right, no, I can't enter that. What's that? I feel you already. Can't I restart? I was dying? There. Okay, get to the top. No. Maybe I don't need to when I'm way up. No, 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 ah, damn, I... There, oof, I almost lost it. Because then what the, I think it will go out, out of sync and it will take a while for me to get a window. No!
Uh, touch will be there. Keep that. Okay, and I didn't mark that. But interesting, this is something that we don't even realize the way it was great, but they had to think about what's below every bit like that. Oh, hang on. Where am I? Ah, this was a secret area. Maybe it had to do with that three guy that I didn't save. Um, If I'm going forward, I, it doesn't work. I have to stop pressing forward. Ah, and I'm out of fervor now. Here, maybe I could them. Mm. Okay, enemies respond. There is some other... Oh! What the heck? Red flowers bathed in tears. Uh, 
they have acquired frozen olive. Uh, so you work to deliver that thing for him. Frozen olive. Summer fruit trapped in an endless winter. Born from an olive tree turned into a prison. Its frosted oils bolster the wearer's defenses when their strength is nearly exhausted. As Gemini traverses the path of the frozen olive trees with the rest of the damned towards the terrible hollow metal statues where those that awaited would die abandoned. He stepped barefoot on a fallen olive that had not yet disappeared under the snow. Without drawing attention, he picked it up and squeezed it in his hand, knowing it would be the last thing he would treasure. Okay, but I got something else as well, didn't I? Dried flowers bathed in tears, olive tree petals, vitrified by frost. Tears of true bitterness prevented the cold from withering them completely. Now they are an offering never made, lost in the snow before it could reach the sepulchre of the saint. Maybe that's what the place was. But I thought I failed his quest. Well, I remember it was. I remember it with great sorrow. Uh, and Gracia was one of us, born in Albero like you and me. She was peculiar, however. Because every day, after a day gathering olives, she stayed in the mountains while the rest of us left. Some said they had seen her cry, and that's why we thought she stayed among olive trees, to be alone with her sorrow. Many years of drought raised the land back then, but although the other crops dried up and died, the olive trees on our hill would not. They remained the best harvests. To everyone's surprise, this gave rise to the rumor that the olive trees were being watered by the girl's very tears. One morning, we found the girl dead, leaning on one of the olive trees. Whether she died of sorrow, we would never know. We buried her in a small cave next to the olive trees, where she cried. The next day, the olive trees had withered. That it? Yes. Satan Dolorosa. What was that? Satan Dolorosa. The pain of the flesh embodied the definitive penance, total detachment of self in firm pursuit of virtue. The sorrowful and desperate chant overflows with conviction, and those who intone it will be rewarded with vital energy for every hidden land on their enemies. Mm. Oh, but why this is... Uh, let me grieve, let me suffer, for one wound on me is one less on you. Let me bleed, let me feel, for a cut on me is a carriage for you. Let me cry, let me moan, as all my tears are only for me. Do I come from here? No, it's worse. Mm. Oh, there! Okay, so the dash works. I wasn't sure this was actually giving me distance when I was using. Coxes of Daniel the Possessed. It is said that Daniel appeared inside a castle. He cried that he had been possessed by a shadow as he slept, and also claimed to have maintained carnal relations with unreal <laughs> creatures. No, nope. ah. Uh. Yeah, I fell down here. No, it's showing the other one. 
Okay, I felt here. Now if I fall here. Ah. Zembra of the Replenishing Crawl. Uh, I'm in town to the rays of the sun. Praise the sun, which generously bathes even the darkest of places. Its blessing increases the tears harvested by Meacopa for a while. Many earn for these remainders of the miracle, but greed can prevent them from recognizing what truly matters. I cannot hold your hands now that you sleep in the wind among the trees. I cannot speak to you now that you are singing with the midnight crickets. I cannot see you now that you are looking from the sun into the hot sand. I cannot forget you, for you will always be part of me. In memory of Mariano Solar. Great. Now I can unmark this one. Don't know. I think I'm gonna come here. Uh, better put my iron lung. It's not an iron lung, it's a super lung. of that. Oh, I can't either. I don't even know if I should try so hard to get everything that I find because I'm probably gonna miss something. And I don't know if they'll carry over. Why don't I get everything at once? <clears throat> ah, you opened. I didn't get everything yet. All right. Mm -hmm. Can you already hear their song? Can you already hear their ancient aria? The lady who sang to the bones has awoken. The skeletal remains on the other side have opened the door to you. They bid you welcome. But beware. Of the secret they wish to share. Bring the rest of the bones before me, penitent one. Yeah, I thought that would walk in once I got everything. Oh, hang on, there's that person here. May the miracle protect the unprepared souls that dare challenge the voice of Bonin's Co. as. She won't allow anyone to interrupt her song, so it's a boss fight. Is it 
Dara, voice of the dead. Oh! Fire enclosed in enamel, uh, a glossy metal which holds a white fire of the purest of whites. Jewels like this used to be hung from the mainmast to capture the bright lights that appear on high seas. It aids the connection with the miracle, accelerating the use of prayers. A lit fire arose from the top of the mast. A tongue of fire, sometimes white, sometimes blue, dancing wildly and seemingly not to dim diminish uh, at all despite the terrible storm that fell upon us. It was the touch of the Father's fingers, finger pointing down from on high to our boat. The furious light opened up a path through the night and guided us through the storm. <laughs> 